Hey everybody, welcome back to Podcasters. My name is Bandrew and I'm back with another mic test video for you guys. First off, you may notice that my voice is a little raspier than usual. That's because I was at a comic book convention all weekend and my voice hurts. But I am back with one of my most requested microphone reviews, and that is a Samson Meteor mic. And the first request I received for this was from a Aaron T or Aaron T. Um, I'm not sure which one he goes by. As I'm sure most of you know, I am not a fan of USB microphones because they it's difficult to upgrade from. You lack a lot of the functionality that you get with a normal microphone. You can't have an interface with it. It's just just a huge pain in the butt but this one is decent it's pretty good so this microphone runs about 50 to 70 bucks depending on when you buy it and what finish you get because on Amazon they have three different colors and you can look at them I'll throw them in a video description down below so first let's talk about what you get in this box which is pretty fancy looking and I like the packaging um, you're gonna get the microphone which has a built-in stand you're also gonna get the USB cable which runs directly into your computer and lastly you're gonna get this handy little user's guide first off the construction on this feels great it's all metal construction it has some good weight to it I feel like you could take a hammer to this and it's not gonna break which is good because this is such a small form factor this is the kind of microphone that you would throw in your bag and take it with you to a podcast or record a, a class or something like that this seems like that's what this was designed for and it's built for that and it's built well for that and then on this construction let's go ahead and look at a couple of the features so on the back of the microphone you have two ports the bottom one is the USB port which hooks the microphone up to your computer and the top one is a headphones jack so you can listen to what you're recording and you can also hear what's coming out of your computer and then I don't know if you can hear me but on the front here we have two things we have the knob and a button the knob is a volume knob but it's not a volume knob for what you would expect it's for the headphones Phones. This does not provide a volume gain knob for the microphone, so you're going to have to adjust that in your computer settings. This does not have a gain knob on it for the microphone. And then the button in the middle is, let me show you. It's a mute button, that's right. And as I said, this does not have a microphone gain knob. The gain knob is for the headphone, so you will have to adjust the volume for your microphone on your computer settings. And right now, I am set at about 10%. And now my favorite part, the spec sheet. So right here, you can see the frequency response and the polar pattern. The frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, so it picks up the entire audible spectrum. And then we also have the polar pattern right here for a cardioid microphone, which means it picks up the majority of the audio from the front of the microphone. And as I said, it's a cardioid microphone, so let's go ahead and spin it around and keep talking and see where the dead spots are on this microphone. Overall, I think it's a pretty good sounding microphone. I would have liked to seen a microphone gain knob on it, though. I think that's a feature that's pretty essential on any USB microphone, but We'll go ahead and overlook that, and let's go ahead and do a little bit more testing. Okay, so right now I have the microphone sitting about one foot away from me, right on my desk. Okay, now the microphone's sitting on my desk at about two feet away. Now I'm at about four feet away from the microphone, and all the settings have remained the same. Now I'm going to go ahead and be quiet for a second so you can hear the background noise that this microphone generates. Now the microphone sitting on my desk in front of my keyboard about 12 inches away from my face and I'm going to go ahead and type on the keyboard to see how much noise it picks up from my keyboard and how much of my voice it picks up. Now I'm going to go ahead and see how it sounds recording an acoustic guitar. <laughs> Forgive the poor playing, it's been quite some time since I've played that guitar. I think the people that are really going to benefit from this microphone are people who travel a lot. That'll be people who are traveling podcasters or comedians, they want to record their show, just throw this mic in the back of the comedy club, or if you're traveling and recording in a hotel room, this is going to be a microphone for you. This is not going to be a microphone for people who want to record high quality CD album stuff for your band. This is not the microphone for that. This is a convenience microphone. It's this is small, it sounds good enough, throw it in your bag and go. That's what it's made for and that's what it does really well. So yeah, I guess that'll do it. If you do have any more questions, leave them in the comments down below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. I'm sorry I've been slacking on that. I've been out of town this entire last weekend for the convention, but I'm back. I will answer your questions now. If you did find the video helpful or you enjoyed it or you learned anything, give me a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, give me a big old thumbs down. And if you want some more of these, they come out every Tuesday at least. Give me a subscribe by clicking the logo in the corner and I will see you all next Tuesday or earlier. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.